Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to my weekly update. Now, as promised, I've been saying it for a long time, George Eustace did speak to all of us on Monday of this week um, and we've held two webinars discussing uh, what he said, um, one with myself, Tom Bradshaw and various key members of staff and also with Janet Hughes, who is Programme Director of Future Food and Farming within uh, DEFRA. She did a QA and a um, whereby she answered the many questions that were posed. But ultimately, this seemed on Monday like an announcement about future announcements and having had time through the week to reflect on it. Recognising now that it was the best part of two years ago that government announced what um, the capping process would look like over the next four years for different size of farm businesses. And two years on, we have precious little detail that we can, as farmers, look to work with going forwards. So the unanimous cry from everybody I've spoken to is we need to see more detail. Um, now, the DEFRA team, I'm delighted to say, are really taking notice of our work uh, co-designing with other farming organisations what we see a sustainable food and farming scheme can look like. Those thoughts are clearly being factored in but it's still not where it needs to be to provide the detail of what these monies that are taken away from farming businesses what they are going to look like when they come back in. So this remains a, a major concern. I think the big, big plus for me, though, was the phenomenal media interest. I did Channel 5, I did a pre-record with Channel 4, I did ITV News, I did BBC News, I then did live with BBC News, and I did live with Channel 4 in the evening for five minutes. Channel 4 spent over 15 minutes on their evening news programme only discussing agriculture and the future for our industry of what public monies for public goods uh, and sustainable farming practice can mean. I mean, that is a massive success. Never before have I seen news channels so interested in what we as farmers are doing. And the link, finally, between the food that we eat and farming policy really does seem to be landing in the public arena. So I think everybody should take enormous heart from that. Um, obviously, uh, Sitting here today, there's no idea whether we will get an announcement on a trade deal this weekend. We've got a lot of media interest coming into the press office, a lot of rumours that there will be a deal agreed this weekend. There were a lot of rumours last weekend and no deal still on the table. So it, it remains a very, very live picture and I'm hoping next week I will be up, able to update you and I'm really, really hoping that there will be a deal in place. I want to just briefly touch on the very serious situation with avian influenza at the moment. Um, the CVOs, the Chief Veterinary Officers across Great Britain, so Scotland, Wales and England, have taken the decision that all poultry flocks must be housed by the 14th of December. Obviously, it's critical for animal welfare and avoiding stress that birds are housed um, over uh, a period rather than straight away. I think alarmingly, though, we are seeing high risk AI now in wild birds. So biosecurity is absolutely paramount. And it is a call out today to all members, anybody with backyard poultry, to please follow the guidance that we have on NFU line and really take biosecurity and housing very, very seriously in order to protect the many businesses across Great Britain at the moment. Um, I will speak to you next week, I hope, with more news on a UK-EU trade deal. Um, and as ever, please know that the NFU has got your backs. We are doing everything that we can to make sure we cover all aspects. And we will, with our Director of International Trade and EU Exit, Nick von Westenholtz, and very capably uh, alongside him will be Gail Souter, hopefully talking about what deal has been achieved but they'll be with you in a live webinar next week. And even if a deal hasn't been agreed, they'll be able to talk you through the next steps and what to expect. So please go to NFU online uh, and do um, register yourselves to join that. And myself, along with Stuart Roberts, Deputy President, uh, and Tom Bradshaw, Vice President, Terry Jones, Director General, we, just before Christmas, the Wednesday before Christmas, uh, we will be holding an event there. So I really want to cover off the day job. So much going on. Bovine TB, urea consultation. There's a lot happening out there. Um, and finally, just to mention our sugar beet growers who I think have 
done a phenomenal job coming in to back our sugar board chairman, Michael Sly. Um, so many, 1,500 um, growers signed up to this letter on the big challenge we face with emergency use authorization on neonics for beet growing which has of course been disastrous this year well done to you all uh, it really shows the nfu at its best working with our members please do as ever stay safe and i very much look forward to speaking to you next week thank you